Let Alice go was for the pension appeal. Good afternoon, Philippines, mga ayawat na kaka city sino. The Department of Education in the Second Congressional Commission on Education will start nape all private schools nationwide this July. And by from Metro Manila, Zeri Nakangan has the report. Zai, how will identify private schools? How we can just public schools nationwide? Sean, this initiative aims to optimize the use of government resources that can help the congest overcrowded public schools. The mapping will cover 12,212 private schools and is expected to inform policies on public and private education, complement territory. Ashan, this is the first comprehensive mapping of private schools in the Philippines. Sean? Zaya, how will the collected data support the expansion of the DAS Pay program? Ashan, the data collected will be crucial for expanding the government assistance to students and teachers in private education program. In those were the latest updates from Metro Manila and Dr. Studio. Thank you, Zairin Akalamai from Metro Manila. In other news, Philippines said one Navy officer has been severely injured after CCG's ramming. To bring us the details of this story, Gablex the Philippines said one of its Navy personnel was severely injured after the China Coast Guard rammed a Philippine vessel near the second Philippine shore in the South China Sea. The Philippine Navy personnel sustained severe injury after the CCG's intentional high speed rounding during the location and resupply mission. After the incident, CCG reported that the Philippine resupply ship ignored many for warning from the train side. Lex Maxley. And it's PCTV. The Office of the Ombudsman rejects suspended Bambang Tarak Mayor Alice Cobos suspension appeal. We have Kian Pinico to verge upon the details. The Office of the Ombudsman has denied the appeal of Alice Cobos and other local government officials to lift the preventive suspension. They imposed the preventive suspension on May 31. For Go and others allegedly linked to the Pogo in the area. The suspension was ordered against the mayor for issuing permits to Hongxing Gaming Incorporation. Kian Kunigo, and his Up next, Philippines EU discuss green economy partnership. This and the other news when we Are you afraid of child exploitation? Fear not! Let's shed light on the truth. Child exploitation happens because victims often lack options, desperation, poverty, and vulnerability. Children aged 12 to 17 or 2 million children are victims of this crime. So let's spread awareness. Let's break the chains. Together we can protect victims and end exploitation. A close partnership on green economy and environmental protection has been discussed by the Philippines in the European Union. Environment Secretary Maria Antonia Yulu Luizaga met with the EU ambassador to tackle efforts aimed at easing the impact of climate change. Initiatives are aimed to improve communities and promote climate action priorities at the local government level. Meanwhile, Sunny Angara has been appointed as the new Death Edge Chief. Rise of draws us more of this story. President Bongbong Marquez appointed Senator Sunny Angara as the new Deputy Secretary. According to Angara, 
he is deeply honored to be appointed as the new deputy chief, as the significant responsibility is one that we can accept with humility and a profound sense of duty. The Deped community looks forward to working with the new leadership to continue improving the quality of basic education in the country. Liza Pedrosa, NSBC TV. And this one news we gathered across infinity into every story. This is Campus Patrol and the stories down the service. Good afternoon.